At this time, the chair recognizes Councilman Jones, who will present a resolution honoring Philadelphia's living legends. Would George Beach and those accompanying him please join the councilman at the podium? And joining Councilman Jones, we have Councilman Greenlee, Councilman Green. Councilwoman Parker, Councilwoman Blackwell. And Councilwoman Reynolds Brown. February is African American History Month. You can take a global perspective and look at how we've had contributions throughout the world that have emanated from the African American population here in this country. You can do a statewide look at what impacts our community leaders, civic leaders from our community have had statewide or you can just look out the window and look at Philadelphia and see the contributions, both big and small, the leadership that came before us that are still here and some that have gone on and passed away um, have had made. Today, we come to honor those both living and those who have transitioned on. People that I, as I get older, actually knew uh, and made a made a contribution in my life. Uh, whether we talk about uh, George Beach, Joey Temple, Rita R. Smith, Wade L., Valerie Bullock, or some that have passed on like Vernon Marks, affectionately known as Pop Pop, Charlie Boo Burris, Abdul Malik Muhammad, Carl Moore Baby, more, and Joe Falk as part of our fabric of the Philadelphia community. The first protests I ever had, and I actually did go to some protests. I um, Charlie Boo Burroughs and others, um, people like actually um, Milton Street, told two young guys from high school, and I was Matter of fact, I was a freshman in high school, <laughs> not to give my age away. So um, there was a police officer for civil affairs named Fensel. Many of you won't, I heard some people heard of Fensel. He was a gentleman police officer, but he played no games. And when it was time to move, it was time to move. And he would, I remember being up close and personal with these members of the community, Georgie Woods and David P. Richardson and others, and they were making their statement. They were fighting for right causes. It could have been the gallery, and we were out there. And I remember Fensel coming over and said, now, you went around seven times around this building now. I have to do my job just like you're doing yours. <laughs> so some people are going to go to jail today. <laughs> and that was the time when those leaders look back at young people that had their life ahead of them, that, that did not want to have marks on their record, and say, it's time for you to go home. Time for you to get up out of here. It's time for us to take on the, the mantle of that part of this demonstration. And I never forgot that. Charlie Boo Burrs, if you knew him, charismatic and... Um, interesting character came into the Office of Housing and Community Development. They squatted in more houses. People who own houses today owe those actions to him because they said, well, why are these houses vacant when people need them? And stepped up to the plate 
and took over buildings. I remember taking over the uh, Office of Housing and Community Development, and, I, and he came in with such furor, such intensity. I got scared. I said, you ain't really mad, are you? <laughs> He's like, yeah, I'm mad, but not mad at you. So those are the kinds of things I remember. Malik uh, Muhammad on, on Lancaster Avenue taught me a great many things, not only about religion, but uh, about being in business and having to make a payroll and having, having to pray yourself last and having to look out for others before you looked out for yourselves. So all of these things, when you hear me and others in here talk, you're hearing their voices. You're hearing Georgie Woods and others, and um, Joey Temple probably has the best collection of some of the, and I wish he would share it sometime, of what Georgie's old shows were. So without further ado, um, we are honoring the living legends today, honoring and celebrating the Philadelphia living, living legends such as George Albert Beach, Joey Temple, Rita Smith Wade L., and Valerie Bullock, who are leaders in the areas of civil rights, community activism, education, business, youth mentorship in, Philadelphia, in the Philadelphia area, and further honoring those legends who are no longer with us, Vernon Pop Pop Marks, Charlie Boo Burrows, Abdul Malik Muhammad, Carl Moore Baby Moore, and Joe Falk as parts of the commemoration of Black History Month. Whereas George Albert Beach is the founder of Beach Advertising, which was one of the oldest minority-owned advertising agencies in the state of Pennsylvania, for more than four decades, Beach Company has been an advertising agency of choice for many local and national corporations, nonprofit organizations, such as and including Hershey's Foods, Campbell's Soup Company, and the Philadelphia Convention and Visitors Bureau. Mr. Beach is the recipient of numerous awards, including Addie uh, Neo Graphics, I don't know that, you'll explain what that is, and Art Directors Club Award and the Best of the Category Awards in Printing Industry of America. Beach is revered by paving the way for many African Americans to learn the fundamentals, skills, and strategies in navigating the communications field. And Whereas Joey Temple is a radio producer and lifelong resident of Philadelphia, Temple's career in radio began when he received an opportunity to volunteer with Maddie Humphrey at WDAS. During his internship, he participated in the breakfast show and provided knowledge to the community about mass incarceration. After the completion of his internship, Joey Temple stayed at WDAS to work with the legendary Georgie Woods. Currently, Joey T. produces, quote, a message of music, end of quote, which airs 96.1 a.m. on Fridays, and, quote, the Electric Magazine Show, end of quote, for 900 a.m. on Saturdays. Joey Temple spends his time outside of the radio station being active in his community and working to prevent youth from engaging in a life of crime. And? Whereas Rita R. Smith Wade L. is a professor of psychology and African American studies at Millersville University of Pennsylvania. Dr. Smith received her Bachelor of Arts in Psychology from Columbia University and her Master of Arts and Doctorate of Philosophy in Psychology from the University of Pennsylvania. In addition to being a dedicated professor who supports the future success of younger generations, Dr. Smith is also an activist, organizer, breast cancer survivor, and the Vice President of the Lancaster Chapter of the NAACP. And Whereas Valeria Bullock is a former senior business analyst for PICO, who was responsible for managing the company's low income usage reduction program. Early in her career at PICO, Bullock implemented a solar water heating pilot program that targeted low income residential customers with solar technology. 
Bullock's work at PICO brought national attention to the importance of usage reduction programs and their benefit to low-income residential utility customers. Bullock is a recipient of the Philadelphia Visionary Award and the Award for Excellence given by Pennsylvania Legal Services. Her work has also been recognized by the American Council for Energy, Efficiency, and Economy and the former National Fuel Fund Network. And? Whereas the Vernon Marks was the longtime chairman of Philadelphia's Vacant Property Review Committee. Notably, Marks was the first African-American bail bondsman in the city of Philadelphia and one of the founders of the Strawberry Mansion Citizens Participation Council. Marks was the champion of this community in a big way and was an active leader and organizer in Philadelphia's civil rights struggle. Marks was known by many as the mayor of North Philadelphia. And? And before I give remarks on Charlie Buberis, I just wanted to say Councilman Jones had no idea of this when he assigned me this reading assignment. But Charlie Buberis was my neighbor for a brief moment. In North Philadelphia, he lived on a 3200 block of North Newkirk Street. So it's really um, special to me to be able to read this today. Whereas Charlie Boo Burris was a lifelong resident of the Mantua section of Philadelphia, Burris can be described by those who knew him as a unique individual that was fully committed to the success of his community. Burris's particular focus was supporting and helping Philadelphia's youth. Burris worked around the clock to ensure that youth stayed away from negative encounters, pushing them to move forward in a positive direction. Burris was on the forefront of trying to reduce gang activity throughout the city through his work with the Crisis Intervention Network, where he was a member of the field organizations team, operations team. Burris also founded the Inner City Organizing Network, ICON, a nonprofit that aided young men by using their skills to renovate homes. And whereas Abdul Malik Muhammad was a longtime resident, community leader, and entrepreneur from West Philadelphia. In 1986, Muhammad founded the Lancaster Avenue Business Association, which bridged the gap between the businesses from 34th Street all the way out to 63rd Street. Muhammad provided firm leadership to the quarter and showed direct support for unification and teamwork strategies to a diverse business community. Several of the services Muhammad worked continually to maintain were sanitation and cleanup services, creating an area town watch for security on the quarter and a zero tolerance graffiti policy. With support from membership participation, Muhammad created programs that prompted change implemented towards the revitalization of Lancaster Avenue through community, social, and economic development. And Whereas Carl Moore was a community activist from South Philadelphia whose primary mission was advocating for affordable and accessible community health care, in 1970, Carl Moore founded the Greater Philadelphia Health Action Incorporation. Greater Philadelphia Health Action Incorporation was one of the first medical managed care programs in the city of Philadelphia. Over 45 years after Moore started on his mission, residents of South Philadelphia and community stakeholders, including myself, celebrated the opening of the Carl Moore Health Center at 1401 South 31st Street which is a state-of-the-art facility. The facility specializes in providing primary care, OB, OBGYN, podiatry, dental, behavioral health, and pharmacy services to the community and at an affordable cost. And whereas Joe Falk was a re well-respected community leader, always looking out for the underdog, Falk helped with various projects aimed at enhancing the quality of life of young people in his community. Falk's greatest accomplishments and achievements were in the Nicetown and Tioga neighborhoods. Falk served as a dedicated committee person for the 51st Ward. Now, therefore be it resolved by the Council of the City of Philadelphia that it hereby honors and celebrates Philadelphia's living legends, George Albert Beach, Joey Temple, 
Rita R. Smith Wade L. and Valeria Bullock, who are leaders in the areas of civil rights, community activism, education, business, and youth mentorship in the Philadelphia area, and further honors those legends who are no longer with us. Vernon Marks, Charlie Boo Burris, Abdul Malik Muhammad, Carl Moore, and Joe Falk as part of the commemoration of Black History Month and further resolved that an engrossed copy of this resolution be presented to Philadelphia's living legends and the families of our lost legends as further evidence of the sincere appreciation and gratitude of this legislative body. Yeah. And the chair recognizes Mr. Beach for remarks. Thank you very much. Giving honor to God, council president, council persons, honored guests who are in this room today. Being a living legend is a responsibility that I've found that I've had to bear the brunt of. I enjoy my life thus far and I've been encouraged by the opportunities that were presented to me in the great city of Philadelphia. Philadelphia was a, a proving ground for opportunities in business, particularly opportunities for minority individuals who were not factored in in the early planning of businesses for this great city. But, but lo and behold, I had an opportunity on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday to do business in the great city of Philadelphia. And why was I able to do business in the city of Philadelphia? Because I had great people surrounding me and great people who were interns, particularly minority individuals who had an opportunity to see firsthand how it was done because that was my primary goal, to get it done, get it done right, and have uh, something that was very special to me that I learned early in life, the oohs and the ahs. The oohs were over here and the ahs were over there. <clears throat> and it was from the work that I did as a youngster in art that I got the oohs and the ahs. And I still get them today. Can I hear an ooze over here? and some ahs over there. Thank you very much. That is what has propelled me, and I know it has propelled those that are surrounding me today. And I look at some of the individuals that came to Beach, and some of them have stepped away proudly and have said, I cut my teeth at Beach. And I'm so proud of them, because my job is to make an opportunity available for those that are coming behind me and those that are along with me. And it's so great when you see other people doing great things. I, I'm inspired by others. I look out, I see out, and I try to step in the shoes of others. And that was what has made my firm very successful because I stepped out of me and became them. And I learned how to market in their behalf. So I want to say to the group that's here, congratulations on all that you have done and all that you and your family members have done in order to move business in the great city of Philadelphia to where it is now and to where it will be in the future, which is in the next five minutes. Thank you very much. Thank you, Councilor Bidis. And as we do that, uh, I would like to take a moment to recognize uh, one of my awesome friends of former State Senator Shirley Kitchen. I didn't see you back there. Uh, she is the living legend of all legends. All right. Thank you. Council BDs. Um, Councilman Jones. Yes. Will all members come up on a high rise? Family members, stay where you are, and we'll take the picture. <laughs> 